everybody. So we're back on the shop with another daily vlog and guys, we are going to make a Kydex sheath for the EDC scalpel. So I don't exactly know how this is going to go because I've never made a sheath for one of these, but we're going to wing it. We're going to make it happen. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Let's get it done. Well guys, we're going to go ahead and get this blade taped up and all I'm doing is just two layers. And this doesn't have to be super precise because we're just using this to create a space between the blade itself and the kydex so we don't have any interference there and we're just going to cut it out with scissors again this does not have to be super precise and there we go got that part done Now whenever we're putting it in the actual press, we want to make sure that we have the spine of the blade all the way up against the inside of that taco. So basically like where the meat would go in the taco, we want it pushed all the way up into that area. I like tacos. We got a good definition of where the actual knife is in the actual sheath itself. And so this is going to help us when it comes to the next part where we have to draw out where the blade is sitting in the actual sheath. And then we're going to space everything off of that. And originally I was going to do another real slim minimalist sheath for this and have it kind of go with the shape of the blade but then you know I started putting the clip on there started trying to plan it out and I thought let's do something a little bit different here let's let's have some fun with this we've been doing some pretty cool sheaths lately why stop here So once we kind of get the clip position where we want it, we'll start drawing out the smooth edges of the sheath, you know, rounding things off, getting the real cool shape to it. I think this is going to look pretty cool because all we're going to be doing is having just enough sheath to hold the blade itself. I'm just using a punch to mark the center of where we're going to be drilling the holes. I was thinking about putting an extra eyelet in that little open area, but I think that two is going to be just plenty for this. This is going to look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go to the next step. I'm using a 3 16 drill bit for this, just setting the, the first hole, the pilot hole. And then we're going to switch over to the step bit. I've told y'all plenty of times why I like this. It, it doesn't melt the kydex, so I prefer doing it this way. It just leaves nice, crisp holes. Now whenever we're cutting it out on the quarter band saw, you want to cut on the outside of the line that you drew because you want to be able to sand back to that line. If you cut too much here, you can't add it back. We're using a 100 grit belt this go around to try it out. I've used 40 grit, 80 grits, 120. A bunch of different grits but we're using a 100 grit this particular time and we just smoothed out the edges and then we put a little bit of a 45 degree angle around the whole entire thing to start rounding it a little bit this just leads to a having a really smooth edge once you actually do your sanding
Now we're going to get into the area that is going to match up with the finger choil and get that real smooth. And we're using an 80 grit drum on the oscillating spindle sander here. And we're going through and smoothing the, the 45 that we did and starting to round it off just a little bit all the way around the sheath. Right here we're using 320 grit sandpaper, we're going all the way around the sheath, getting it super smooth. I am going to go all the way up to 500 grit on this. And on this one, I, I didn't want it to have a super high polished edge, so we're just going up to the 500 grit and leaving it there. We're not going to hit it with the buffing wheel. I do actually plan on trying some some dies that you get for your drill press to see if that works. I've had a few people suggest that, but for right now, we're just using a little hammer set that we have, and it works just fine for what we're doing. Right here, we're heating up the opening of the sheath so that I can create the little piece that comes up for your thumb. We'll talk about that later in the video, but. That's what we're doing right there. And we're just making sure that the tension is exactly where it needs to be. That it's not too hard to pull out, but that it won't fall out because we're going to have it dangling. We're not going to have it to where it's a normal setup for a sheath. It's going to be hanging to where you pull the knife down out of the sheath as opposed to up or even with your belt. I really like these ulti clips because they actually clip and you know that it's going to stay stationary where you put it. I like that locking mechanism. There we go. Super simplistic sheath. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap up today's daily vlog and check that out. How cool is that? We got our slim ulti clip on there and then we have probably the most minimalist sheath that I've done to date. This thing is tiny and if y'all would, this little thumb, little thing right here, if y'all know what this is actually called, tell me in the comment section. I, I don't know what it's called, I just know that it helps to help you pull the knife out to have that, that little thumb push thing. If you know what it's called, comment section. But I mean, what do y'all think about that? Just about the minimalist sheath as you can get. It is just the blade. If you can see that right there, that is all that's inside there is the blade. <laughs> so the way that I did this, it mounts to your belt right here. This part hangs down and you pull down and do whatever you gotta do. And I'm pretty excited about carrying this as an EDC because how unique is EDCing a scalpel? Especially a scalpel made from a farrier's rasp. I mean, do you personally know anybody that has that? Personally? If you do, tell me in the comment section. But I'm betting most of y'all don't know people that EDC a scalpel. And I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this. This is going to be fun. Uh, guys, if you think this is cool, you think this build was cool, give this video a thumbs up, share this video or video I've done in the past that might be your favorite, and if you haven't yet, right there, uh, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we start our build tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome build. It is the largest knife that I've done on the channel to date. 
and I think y'all are gonna really like it. So we're gonna be working on that one tomorrow. Make sure you come by, check that out. But for today, thank y'all for spending the time with me, hanging out with me. I hope y'all have an amazing day. Stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.